Alright, boys, I am back. It's been... <clears throat> it's been, uh... Wait, way too long. It's been way too long. I might have uh, just, you know, uh, slacked off a bit. By a bit, I mean a lot. But, you know, I'm back now, and I'll be reviewing World 8. Like, give my honest opinion on it. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, first of all, we have the scenery and... All I can say is it is absolutely stunning. I mean, it is new to my eyes because it's a new world and new update, but they did pull off the theme very well, and it's, like, really cool. Now, the second cool thing is that they have finally added some techie stuff to this world. Um, now, before these moving platforms and stuff, they were only featured in dungeons, but since, you know, new update and all, They've finally added these moving structures to World 8, which is pretty cool in my opinion. But other than the scenery and some techie features, that's pretty much about it. Or like something that's innovative in this world. Other than that, everything's just mid. It's just all the same. Now, this is where it gets harsh, and this is where I tell my truth, my honesty. Now, I'm not trying to bring the game down or anything, but... You know, I have to be honest, okay? So, they said they added this new rune system, but I don't see any changes. Because all I see is you defeat the world boss, and they just added a 5% chance for you to get an empowering stone when you kill the boss. Now, if, if that is the new rune system, that is just disappointing to me. Because literally nothing changed, except you just added another loot for world events, so... Now, last but not least, World 8 boss fights are just the same as every single world. Now, I'm not disappointed in this because on the roadmap, they did not say anything about, like, a new boss fight system or whatever. So, I'm good with that, but, you know, honesty here, it's it's a bit repetitive. Um, they did add a mini boss, like, the hands of runes or something, or the rune hand or something like that. But, that's a mini boss, and it's it's cool and all, but it's still the same thing um but yeah hopefully like what i want them to do is like there's a time a certain time limit for them to actually kill the boss and then they'll get better loot or like a higher percent of drop rate for empowering stones or something because that that would be pretty cool um and i think the player base will like that but uh, other than that there's nothing else i could say now, I know Tower 8 hasn't released yet, so I can't really judge that with World 8. So, uh, I'll give this world right now a 7 out of 10. The three missing scores are really because of the new rune system they said they added, which I don't think they really did anything except add a 5% drop chance for empowering stones. But, uh, yeah, it is still pretty good. But, uh, yeah, that is my honest review. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, considering that, choose your red subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.